There's nothing worth more that could ever come close. No thing can compare. You're our living hope. Your presence, Lord. I've tasted and seen. Sweetness of love, where my heart becomes free and my shame is undone. And I will share your presence, Lord. So, Holy Spirit, you are. Come on, let's welcome it tonight. Christmas breakfast tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. It's going to be great. And uh, we have three excellent speakers. And the main speaker is our brother Joe Jackson, who is right over here to my right, your left. Hallelujah. And hallelujah, it's going to be a great time tomorrow. Great food. It's going to be a lot of food. So come hungry. There's still room. Uh, if, you, if you still want to come and you haven't made your decision, I don't know what's been keeping you so long, but anyway, uh, you can still come tomorrow at 9, nine o'clock. Amen? Amen? And uh, it's ten, just $10, and we'd love to see every guy there tomorrow. Amen. Uh, all right, also, on, on next week, uh, Christmas Eve, we always have a Christmas Eve candlelight and communion service at 7 30. all right so christmas eve keep that in mind it's always a great service and, uh, and so candlelight now we have fake candles i have to tell you right now 
No danger of burning anything down. Amen. So let's receive our offering now. Have our ushers come. Yes. Thunderous applause. Yeah. Thunderous. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God is good all the time. Uh, those are instantaneous ushers coming with their coats on right off the street. Lord, bless this offering now. In Jesus' name, amen. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills, and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Go tell it on the mountain. Over the hill that Jesus Christ is born, that in the lonely manger the humble Christ was born, he brought us God's salvation that blessed Christmas morn. Go tell it on the mind. Over the hills and everywhere, oh, go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. When I was a seeker, I sought both the night and day. I asked the Lord to help me, and He showed me the way. Oh, oh. That Jesus Christ is born. He made me a watchman upon that city wall. And if I am a Christian, I am the least of all. Amen. Okay, we're going to begin our program. And uh, thank you, Jesus. Welcome. And you believe that it's uh, already December 20th. Oh, my goodness. And the years keep going by. Hallelujah. And Jesus is faithful. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is faithful. God the Father never changes. The dark is still dark, but the light is light. And the focus of our program tonight is celebrating Jesus the light of the world and the giver of life. And we have a few extra special things tonight to extend the length of our program because our actual music part is short. But I know I've been blessed by it. So first of all, Alec is gonna be sharing on the saxophone. I'll be accompanying him some Christmas carols. We're very proud of Alec. He's grown up in the church since he was four years old 
And now he is 16. Whoa, okay. It's great. You know, our son, our son had said, we were visiting him. He said, you know, I hope, he was talking about the church that he's ministering in. He said, I hope that this church will be the kind of church that will see children grow up from little to big. Have that continuity and that continuation, not have come go, but have families that are in the church and stay in the church and their children grow in the church and they become part of leadership in the church. That's our desire. Hallelujah. So we're very thankful for the Gonzalo family.
hallelujah. Now I've asked Brother Dudley Kamek to come and to read One Solitary Life. Thank you. This is actually a popular pro poem about the life of Jesus Christ. Although the author is frequently cited as unknown, the poem is actually attributed to James Allen Francis. He was born in an obscure village, the child of a peasant woman. He grew up in another village where he worked in a carpenter shop until he was 30. Then, for three years, he was an itinerant preacher. He never wrote a book. He never held an office. He never had a family or owned a home. He didn't go to college. He never lived in a big city. He never traveled 200 miles from the place where he was born. He did none of the things that usually accompany greatness. He had no credentials but himself. He was only 33 when the tide of public opinion turned against him. His friends ran away. One of them denied him. He was turned over to his enemies and went through the mockery of a trial. He was nailed to a cross between two thieves. While he was dying, his executioners gambled for his garments, the only property he had on earth. When he was dead, he was laid in a borrowed grave through the pity of a friend. Twenty centuries have come and gone. Today, he is the central figure of the human race. I am well within the mark when I say that all the armies that ever marched, all the navies that ever sailed, all the parliaments that have ever sat, all the kings that have ever reigned, put together have not affected the life of mankind on this earth as much as that one solitary life. Hallelujah. And now Sister Debbie Acevedo is coming to share the song. Praise God. You know, as you listen to that, um, that poem, you just can't help but well up inside, right? And feel so honored and privileged to know Jesus. Um, I was going to sing another song tonight, but um, it's so funny. I was supposed to sing this song for the Women's Fellowship, and my tape got lost. And then I was supposed to sing it tonight, and I, um, I couldn't find it. I had to order it. But this song beautifully follows what you just read because it, it says, Jesus is all the world to me. How many feel that way tonight? Jesus is all the world to me. He is our life, our joy, our all. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. is all the world to me, my life, my joy, my all. He is my 
Movement Ensemble is coming to add movement to the overture to our musical Light and Life. Please keep all belongings in the, watch, they're coming down the aisle. Okay, pull your feet back if you're in the front row. <laughs> okay, hallelujah. One moment, we'll be ready. And I'm just thankful I asked Sister Lynette Emerson if she would work with some of the teen girls that had been in the choir. And you know, these girls are so busy. When I was a teenager, I used to have time to read books. Anybody have time to read books when you were a teenager? And of course, we watched some TV, but you know, we didn't have video games. But we weren't going to extra classes for this and that. And our kids. A lot of our kids, especially in the youth group, they're very motivated academically. They have extra this and extra that at school. 
their lives are far more complicated than my life was at their age. And I'm sure more complicated than your life was at their age. So we said you can practice during choir, which means they didn't practice singing with us. They practiced moving. And Sister Lynette has been their faci facilitator. So let's just give them a, a little round of applause. Thank you, Sister Lynette. <laughs> Hallelujah. And we're ready, Jonah. Thank you. Hallelujah. All right, at this time, the choir is getting ready to come in. We have a little traveling music. Jonah.
of John chapter 1 says God sent a man John the Baptist to tell about the light so that everyone might believe because of his testimony John himself was not the light he was simply a witness to tell about the light the one who is the true light who gives light to everyone was coming into the world he came into the very world he created but the world didn't recognize him but we do recognize him. Jesus is the true light of the world, the giver of life, and he is the reason we've gathered in this place together. We invite you to come and worship Christ, the newborn King. who sang creation's story now proclaimed the Messiah's birth. Can you imagine that holy night? 
what it must have been like for the shepherds to hear the angel chorus announce the birth of the newborn king, their response is no surprise. They ran to see the promise of God fulfilled. Then their joyful praise echoed the angels as they joined the triumph of the skies.
Oh, Lord, we magnify you in this place. We want you to be seen right here and right now. Indeed, you have done great things for us. You came to us when we could not come to you. Thank you, God, for loving us like you do. Amen. Amen. Again, from the Gospel of John, in the beginning the Word already existed. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. He existed in the beginning with God. God created everything through him, and nothing was created except through him. The Word gave life to everything that was created, and his life brought light to everyone. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never extinguish it.
The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Thank you for sending Jesus to be the light of the world. In him we see the truth of who you are. We see the truth of who we are, sinners in desperate need of a savior. And we see who you are calling us to be, children of the living God. Thank you for the life we have only in Jesus. In his name we pray, amen. Let's rejoice together. Yeah. 
you. Hallelujah. He is the light of the world. Hallelujah. What does light do? It reveals the way to go. It reveals what is right and what is wrong. And Jesus loves us, and he is the light. We can trust him to give light to our path. We can trust him for the light when we need it to guide us. But most of all, he is the light because he is the truth. His way is the truth. Hallelujah. So I'm going to ask, uh, I, want to, I want to acknowledge uh, people who have helped us. First of all, I acknowledge our, our young ladies here. Hallelujah. We hope this is the beginning of something more. Hallelujah. And thank you, Sister Lynette, wherever you are hiding. Where did she go? There she is. Okay. All right. Hallelujah. And we have our sound people and DVD accompaniment person. We have Jonah and Brother David. And Sister Julie Townsend, who is our church secretary and building manager, made our flags for us. She, does, she made them herself. And we also have, um, I'm so thankful for uh, Pastor David. He is the assistant rehearsal director. <laughs> he works with the tenors and the basses. And he has the harder job, because their parts are harder. You know, the sopranos have the melody, the altos have the harmony, but uh, he's doing the hard work with those two parts. And I want to thank all the members of the choir for their <laughs> commitment for being worship leaders. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to thank you, Brother Michael Corbin, for leading worship tonight, for Alec, thank you. So, Pastor David, do you want to say anything? Oh, there this thanks the director. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're going to sing this again on Sunday morning. Uh, so, as part of the service, and Joe Jackson will be preaching also. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. Sunday morning. So, uh, but men, don't forget, tomorrow, men's breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So we're grateful for the choir. Uh, I love being in the choir. And we, we love to sing and worship the Lord. Amen. Amen. So shall we uh, close? <laughs> so let's, let's stand together. I just want to pray over everyone here. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that each one here tonight would... Be as you describe us, Lord, as the light of the world. It's one thing to say that you are the light of the world. That's true. But you also said that we are the light of the world. Prophesy over us. So may we shine forth your love, your grace, and your truth. We thank you, Lord, that you are full of grace and truth. We thank you for the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. We believe in our heart that God has raised Jesus from the dead. We confess with our mouths that he's our Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Wherever we go, Lord, we are thankful for the coming of our Lord Jesus. And we just pray, Lord, that you would use each one of us as witnesses wherever we go, wherever, wherever we are, to be the light. Bless each one wherever we go tonight. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah.